The Nissan crossover SUV we know as the Rogue Sport goes by the name Koshke in other markets. Now that Nissan's pulled the wraps off the latest generation of Koshke, we can say with fair confidence that it almost assuredly previews the upcoming, similarly upgraded 2022 Rogue Sport. While its name is different, the Koshke's bodywork will likely carry over almost completely unchanged to the new Rogue Sport, which we anticipate to reach our shores before the end of the year. That's a good thing too, as the Koshke was and is a particularly handsome little SUV. Sporting Nissan's latest design language, the 2022 Koshke is an attractive-looking thing that combines various styling details from a multitude of Nissan products. The Koshke's kicked window line resembles that of the 2022 Nissan Aria electric SUVs, while its headlights share a resemblance to those of the 2021 Nissan Armada and 2022 Nissan Pathfinder SUVs. As before, the Koshke's dashboard design takes after that of the one-size-up, compact Rogues. A high-mounted 9-inch infotainment screen rests above easy-to-decipher climate controls, while a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster and 10.8-inch head-up display put pertinent information closer to the driver's line of vision. If the 2021 Rogue's feature content is anything to go by, then we imagine an 8-inch touchscreen and analog gauges will come standard on lesser models of the new Koshke and Rogue Sport. Likewise, Nissan will almost certainly limit the crossover's head-up display to high-end trims of the small SUV. Even though the Kosh K relies on either a turbocharged 1.3-liter engine with assistance from a 12-volt mild hybrid system or an electric drivetrain with a small gas engine on board that serves as a generator, the 2022 Rogue Sport will likely forego these options for a variant of the current model's cheaper and more straightforward 141-horsepower 2-liter 4-cylinder gas engine. We're hopeful Nissan offers the next Rogue Sport with the Rogue's more powerful 181-horsepower 2.5-liter 4-cylinder as an option too. Expect Nissan to share more details about the redesigned Rogue Sport in the coming weeks or months. Look for this small crossover to hit our shores as the next-gen Rogue Sport. On the inside the influence from the Rogue is immediately apparent. It looks a lot more upscale than the previous generation with nicer materials and more refined design touches. A 9-inch touchscreen has navigation, Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, and there's a configurable 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster. Other available tech includes a 10.8-inch head-up display, smart home connectivity, and phone as key functionality. The Koshke is even available with massaging seats. The new Koshke rides on Renault-Nissan's platform, which also underpins the Rogue and the just-revealed Mitsubishi Outlander. It's 1.4 inches longer than the old model overall, with an 0.8-inch longer wheelbase, and the new Koshke is also a little taller and wider. Room for rear passengers has increased, there's a lot more cargo space, and the rear doors now open to 90 degrees. It's available with 20-inch wheels for the first time, and models with those wheels or all-wheel drive get a multi-link rear suspension setup. Nissan says the new Koshke is lighter, stiffer and more fun to drive than the old one. The Koshke is also available with Nissan's ProPilot suite of driver assist systems. The adaptive cruise control has stop-and-go functionality, and it uses navigation data and speed limit info to adjust speed accordingly both in a straight line and around tight corners and exit ramps. The Koshke also has lane-keeping assist, rear cross-traffic alert, automated emergency braking that now can detect two cars ahead, and a flank protection system that sounds like fancier parking sensors. Two powertrains will be available in Europe at first. The base engine is a turbocharged 1.3-liter four-cylinder with a standard mild hybrid system, it's available with either 138 or 156 horsepower, a 6-speed manual, or a CVT, and front or all-wheel drive. Even more interesting is the e-power model, which pairs a 1.5-liter gas engine with an electric motor. As with a car like the Chevy Volt, the engine exclusively generates power for the electric motor, with the front wheels being driven by electricity alone. This setup produces 187 horsepower, and Nissan says it gives the Koshke the characteristics of an EV without the need for charging it even has one pedal driving through regenerative braking. As I said at the top of the story, we don't yet know which of the new Koshke's powertrains and features will make their way to our US market Rogue Sport. 
It's probably unlikely that the e-power model and the more luxurious options like the massaging seats and HUD will be available here, but we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. The Kosh K will reach dealers in Europe in a few months, and the US Rogue Sport should debut within the first half of the year. Subscribe to Auto TV.